In this week's very special show, we've got 10 console tips for both longtime and new Xbox fans. Plus, check out how to up your game with the Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 with former pro gamer Katarina. Let's dive right in. Let's get started with a few tips on how to get the most out of your Xbox One experience. Whether you're brand new to the community or a longtime Xbox One owner, it's time to make your Xbox yours. You can customize your home screen with shortcuts to features you often use by creating blocks. Click on My Games and Apps and select a game you love like the Halo Master Chief Collection. Select more options and click on Add to Homepage and boom, there it is. You can also add apps like Game Pass Ultimate or shows like This Week on Xbox. These blocks will keep you up to date with the latest information about the game, such as new updates and new content. If you want to organize your games and apps into groups, all you do is select a game, hit the menu button, click on the groups option and choose create a group. So you can park Forza Horizon 4 in the same lot you keep Crash Team Racing Nitro fueled. Here's a tip for longtime fans with tons of games. Just go to Games and Apps, click on the Games tab, and on the top of the screen, you will see a ready to install option. These are the digital games you own, but are not currently installed. When you're ready to play again, click this drop down, and you can have options to quickly find the game you're looking for. And thanks to backward compatibility, you can still enjoy original Xbox and Xbox 360 games. Some select titles are Xbox One X enhanced, drawing on the additional power of the console for higher resolution, improved texture filtering, and expanded color detail. Oh, and if you want to improve the immersive experience of gameplay, you can go to the store and download the Dolby Access app to start a free trial of Dolby Atmos. This app uses advanced sound technology to create moving sound around you through the use of your stereo headphones, making it feel more like you are actually inside the world of gameplay. Here's a bonus, it works for movies and other entertainment as well. If you would rather give than receive, gifting through your Xbox is easy. Just go to the store, select the game, and select the little present to buy as gift. Enter the lucky person's gamer tag or email, and they will receive the code for the gift. Here's a tip. If you gift someone a game, they need to be in the same country as you, and make sure it's the right game for the right person. Someone with a child account could be restricted by age when they try to play an M-rated game. If you're looking for new friends to play with, check out Looking for Group. You can search or create posts for other players to assemble a squad. And you can make sure the conversation stays appropriate for you, thanks to the message filter settings. Find message safety under online safety and family settings and select how you want your conversations to appear to you. Now that you're loaded up and ready to play games, you're gonna wanna capture some of those moments to share with your friends. You can record up to 10 minutes of gameplay depending on the settings you choose. To do that, while you're playing, just press the Xbox button, and from there, you can select the types of capture you want to do. If you want to record longer clips, you'll need to use an external hard drive to store the footage. And if you have an Xbox One X, you can capture in glorious 4K. Now, if you've captured a bit of gameplay that you are particularly proud of and you want to share it, press the Xbox button and select Broadcast and Capture, where you'll find your recent captures. Choose the clip and then select Share, where you'll be prompted to choose the platform. Are you ready to take it to the next level and stream live gameplay to the world? You just press the Xbox button, then select the Mixer option and follow the instructions to set up your account. In the broadcast menu, click on Start Broadcast and you are live. That's just a few tips to get you started. If you need more help, just look for Xbox Assist on your home or head over to support.xbox.com. This little piece of uh, hardware, this controller, actually makes my life so much better. It makes me so much happier. It feels like I'm holding like a premium piece of hardware. It feels so good. It also looks beautiful. I mean, look at it. 
The pedals are just like, they feel sturdy, they feel, they feel so nice to play with. I use all four of them, so that was like something that really made a difference for me. I actually mapped the A button, I mapped to this one trigger, where I can actually just run and uh, take cover using this, so I never have to like keep changing. Then I actually have these two, I have them to switch between the Lancer and the Gnasher. So I don't have to take this left uh, finger to the D-pad to switch between weapons. Some of the things that I do, for example, for Gears 5, if someone wants some tips, I always have my thumb fingers in my sticks. I use the four pedals here and then my finger on the RT and LT, and that's basically it. And I barely, barely move my fingers, which just gives me a big advantage, I feel like. So if you actually choose the shorter distance, you can actually shoot just way faster. I'm using gears as an example when you're using your pistol, where it actually matters how fast you can uh, press the trigger. And so in this controller, you actually have three of them. Everything you can do to just like quickly react to a situation that can go down to like the milliseconds. So there are different options for, you can actually switch the thumbsticks for other ones. Uh, these ones, I actually, I, I like using them sometimes just because they're softer. They're super comfortable. So if I'm playing like an RPG or something that doesn't require me to be as precise with the thumbs, I actually switch to these ones just because they're so much more comfortable. And I'm just going to put my favorite ones back in. You can set different profiles on the controller, which really helps if you're like switching between games and playing a lot of different games. So I have one profile for Gears, one profile for Halo, one profile for Destiny. Oh, and the cool thing is that the profiles actually roam with you, like it, it's not tied to your console, it's tied to the controller. Just imagine showing up with like this box, like just looking like this at a friend's house. I cannot imagine living without that nowadays, honestly. It actually made me a better Gears player by using this controller alone. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, thank you so much. Cool, yay. That's our show from all of us here at Xbox. Have a safe and happy holiday. Check out these exclusive W Hotels custom controllers. US fans should keep on the lookout for W Hotel banner ads on Xbox to enter for a chance to win.